All right, here we go. We are on the projectile motion unit. This one is easy and it's difficult and challenging at the same time. It's easy because you're using one single formula essentially throughout the entire unit. One formula, that's it, no tricks. Now, it does get tricky when you have to use different aspects of this formula depending on which kind of plane you're doing. In other words, if you're dealing with uh, Y, the up and down, right, then you're going to use the formula for Y. And if you're using X, you're going to use the formula for X. So the formula is as followed. It is, and you'll see this in your um, formula chart, displacement equals, oh, there we go. So velocity times time, I'm going to parenthesis this because I'm going to put a plus sign. One half acceleration times time squared. This is our formula. We're going to go uh, in a little more detail um, the next video as we get closer into the unit. But this is the formula you're using the whole time. The only difference is sometimes you're going to find the displacement of y, which is up and down, like y intercept is like that. And sometimes you're going to find the displacement of X, which is left and right. So if we were to illustrate this, if I'm on a cliff, right, and I throw a ball, and the ball's going to go and it's going to hit the ground. There's two displacements here, right? There's a displacement from where I throw the cliff down, right? That's the Y displacement. How far down did it go? And then there's the how far did I actually throw it, which is what usually people associate when you're like, how far did you throw it? Well, that'd be the X displacement, right? So depending on which one we're talking about, we're only going to use the majority of the time part of this formula. So this is the projectile motion uh, unit. If you got questions, ask me. I'm going to make a lot of videos. Don't freak out if you're like looking at some of these explanations and it's just like it blows your mind up because you're like, I don't get it. Like, you know, the first time I looked at this, I'm like, what? wait, so we use this formula, but sometimes we use this. Don't worry about it. Go through the motions. Copy now. Learn later. You will learn it. You will learn it with repetition. I promise you when you get to the last few pages of this, you're going to be blowing through it. It's going to be easy, right? So chillax. You got it. Go through the motions at first, copy, write down, you will get it. Just pay attention. Even if you don't get it while you're copying, pay attention, you'll get it, it's easy. If you guys got questions, let me know. You are going to do good. This is actually a pretty fun unit, so there you go.